So guys, welcome to the video. Welcome to Dope Car Tech. So the car I'm actually driving here is an electric car, of course. This is the Kia EV6. Okay, so this, this feature is actually very nice. Up here in the key of this Kia EV6, you can actually press and hold to remote start the Kia EV6. Now, when you start this Kia EV6, you can actually move the Kia EV6 forward and backward by holding or pressing the forward or backward key on the Kia EV6. Now, one thing I noticed while testing this was, when I stood in front of the Kia EV6, just like you saw, the Kia EV6 actually tried to maneuver its way automatically to avoid me, but since it could not, it actually stopped. Park your car in a tight parking space. You want to move your car out of that parking space, you can just use the remote to move it forward, like this, which is nice. All right, sitting in front of this Kia EV6 and it's actually a wonderful front of this Kia EV6. This is actually a very, very nice uh, and well thought out interior from Kia. The seats are actually nice and soft with this suede pattern effect on the seats and this nice design, the actually perforated leather seats. And these seats are actually made from recycled plastic bottles. We are first greeted with this huge one piece glass screen which goes all the way to the driver uh, for the driver's information and this interior is actually nice you have of course nice aluminium handles for opening the door first thing you notice about this kia v6 is this floating center console which is solidly built you have this aluminium pattern here and some led lighting here uh, you have uh, a good center armrest which is actually really deep now another nice thing about the kia v6 you have your wireless charger up here and it's actually cooled so the wireless charger once you put your phone to charge wirelessly it can actually there's a fan inside here to blow and cool your phone while it's charging you actually have some soft touch buttons here for your heated and your cooled seats so the front of this kia ev6 you can actually heat the seat during the winter and you can cool the seats during the summer you have buttons for your heated steering wheel you have buttons for your camera control the auto hold system and the parking assist in this car now, another interesting thing about this EV6, which I really love, there's no shift on the steering or on the, on the center of this car. You actually have this knob that you twist to the left for reverse, middle for neutral, and to the right for drive, you press the P button for park, which is actually easy. It doesn't take a lot of space. I think almost all EVs should, should adopt this kind of uh, gear selector system. You have two nice cup holders here and more storage space under here for your bits and bobs, your, your shopping bags can all go here. You have USB Type-C charging here, a 12 volt socket. You have a normal USB also in the front of this EV6. In general, the, the, the quality in this EV6 is actually, the interior quality in this EV6 is actually high, sophisticated. I like the swooping design of the, of the dashboard of this Kia EV6. I like this pattern here, which is actually nice and, and it's, 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 very, it's very cool. It has also been uh, uh, used here in the armrest I mean it's a nice piece of design you actually have an LED light which goes all the way from a line into LED bars or into LED you know slashes something like that and yeah you have a lot of space there are a lot of adjustments from the seats you can recline the seat automatically forward you have bolster supports for the seats you can move them power forward power backwards and of course, it's, it's actually very comfortable to sit in this seat. You actually have huge, huge glass mirror to look at yourself while you're being chauffeured around town. This is the biggest mirror I've seen in any car to date, which is actually nice. You actually have buttons for your power sunroof. 
So this EV doesn't have that big panoramic sunroof that most EVs are adopting today. It just have the normal moonroof, your normal glass roof here, which is not bad. You have your LED reading lights up here. They're actually soft touch LED lights to put them on. Now let's go into the tech of this Kia EV6, which is this huge glass uh, panel here. So to put this on, there's actually a button here when, which is actually facing the driver to put on the Kia EV6 marked EV. You press it and of course the chair would move into its driving position. Yeah, so the tech in this EV is very great. This screen is usually very, is very easy and very user friendly, user, nice uh, graphics and interface. And it actually has a protective coating on this glass to prevent glare when there's a lot of sun shining. So the screen is not going to reflect any light to you when you're driving. It's actually a very easy screen to use. You can swipe through your different menu. You have your home key. Uh, Kia, Kia's uh, user interface is actually very user friendly. Also, you can you can go through all your uh, EV settings here. You have your, your EV mode here, of course. And uh, you have your climate control. You have your radio, everything. You have your map. This screen actually responds very fast. It's very fast and intuitive. Not the fastest, but it's actually very fast. You can actually plot in your driving destination by using the search button here and you search. When you plot in your driving destination, this EV can also show you your next charging station where you can use to, to drive and charge your EVs, which is actually nice. There's actually a lot of interesting future. <laughs> One notable feature about this EV is it has some nice uh, tech features built into it, like something called quiet mode. So the quiet mode actually is a mode where it reduces the volume in the back and only plays the volume in the front. Maybe you have kids in the back of the, the, your EV which are sleeping, you just turn on your quiet mode, which is actually nice. And you have, you have your online manual. Uh, this EV has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, but it's not actually wireless. So you need your wire to plug in your Apple phone to actually display your Apple screen or your Android screen on the screen of this car EV6. You actually have nice settings. You actually have media. In the media, there's some built-in feature of the Kia EV6. Not, not, not something you would use, but you can actually go and play something called Sounds of Nature. And there's one which is Rainy Day. It actually plays rain. You can actually use this when you're charging the car and you want to maybe take a nap. You can just put in Sounds of Nature. It plays the rain. You have Open Air Cafe. I don't know why you would have that. Warm fireplace. So that's it, a very nice uh, user interface for the Kia EV6. Now, down here, you have this panel for your climate control. Now, this climate control has two functions. It can either be used as a volume for your radio or you can actually use it for your climate control. So you can press in the button for the fan and it brings out the buttons for the climate control, which are actually soft touch, or you press it again and it brings out the button for your radio and other functions. This function, is actually not the best to use because while you're driving and maybe you want to turn on you want to turn on the volume of the radio you have to come and switch from the map settings to the radio settings and now if you want to uh, change the, the climate control whether the heat or, the, or how cold the climate you have to also do that it was actually not easy using it so I just used the buttons on the steering wheel to add the volume and reduce the volume which is actually nice so let's come over to the front of the Kia EV6 to the driver's side and see what it feels like to be in the driver's side of the Kia EV6. So over here in the driver's seat of this Kia EV6, you actually have a few more buttons here. You actually have buttons for the automatic uh, handbrake system, which is not the best placement. I would have liked it to be moved over here, which it's your handbrake, but it's automatic. It shouldn't be here. The steering wheel of the Kia EV6 is actually nice. I like the design, the two spoke design of this steering wheel in the Kia EV6. Over here are your buttons for your driving assist, you have buttons for the lane keep assist here, buttons for the forward and the buttons for the cruise control and buttons to reduce and increase the speed. Over here are all your media control settings. You have um, flaps here at the back of the steering. They're actually flaps. These are not actually used to change gears. This EV doesn't have gears. It's actually used in the regenerative uh, driving of the Kia EV6, which we're going to see when we drive the Kia EV6. But of course, there are a lot of adjustments to the steering of the of the Kia EV6, you can move it in or out, up or down, which is also nice. Nice sitting position for the driver. 
you have your start button facing you in the Kia EV6, which is actually nice. And of course, this driver's display, which we are going to see when we drive the Kia EV6. It's also nice and comfy in the back of this Kia EV6. Apart from the seats being soft and comfortable, you can actually recline the seats forward and backward for more, you know, relaxation, that, that relaxing feel. I mean, I have a lot of leg room. I have decent amount of headroom, even for my height. This back seat is actually a very incredible place to be. In the back seat of this Kia EV6, there's actually a plug, household style plug here. So you can actually come with your top in the back of this Kia EV6. The interior quality and the quality materials from the front are also here in the back seat of this Kia EV6. You have, you know, nice quality materials on the door here. Nice aluminum door handle for opening the door. Nice speaker grille buttons for your heated seats and for winding your glass down. You have the air vent, the air vent right over here for the backseat passengers. This car doesn't have uh, climate control for the backseat, but having a, uh, an air vent at the back is actually very nice in the Kia EV6. Of course, there are USB charge ports in each seat for backseat passengers, and it's actually USB type C. You have first class airplane style door pocket at the back, which really shows you how posh this car is like this car is really 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 posh in the back seat you have nice uh, hand rest you have two cup holders in here and another place for storing your phone which is actually also nice in the back seat my only uh, gripe or the only letdown in the back seat of this Kia EV6 is that it doesn't have the full panoramic glass roof of other electric cars so at times the the back of this Kia EV6 can be sometimes dark and dingy but it's just me nitpicking at this point. But the back seat of this car is actually very, very incredible. You have LED lights up uh, for your reading lights. You have nice grab handles here, which are actually uh, solid filling. So let's check out the boot space in the back of this Kia EV6. Okay, so moving over to the back of this Kia EV6, uh, there are a lot of noteworthy things I need to talk about before seeing how much boot space is in this Kia EV6. First of all, you have Kia EV6 badging over here. And <laughs> some interesting thing about the new Kia logo is if you look at it at first glance, it looks like a K with an inverse N, but actually it's a K, an I and an A. But the A and the I are like, if you look at it, it's just like an inverse N. Also, you have your GT line here. The test car today is the GT line, which means um, four-wheel drive and a lot of things about power, which I'll talk about later in the video. The, the back of this Kia EV6 is actually the best view for me in this car. You should comment on the comment box below which is the best, which is the best view for you of the Kia EV6. But for me, this is the best view of this Kia EV6 from the back. You have this lights bar, which starts all over from the way from here, goes across the whole back, to the same way it's it has this aston martin vibe to it if you actually know the the back of an aston martin but kia has gone further by like starting all over the way here and ending all over the here but the back is actually a very distinct feature of the kia ev6 down over here you have your reverse camera of course this kia ev6 has six cameras it stitches up to give a 3d view of this car, which is actually good for parking, out of tight spots. Another interesting design feature at the back of this Kia EV6 is when you look over here, this is actually the reverse lights to the Kia EV6. It has actually been integrated into this rear diffuser of the Kia EV6, which is actually nice. You would never see a reverse lights anywhere in the brake lights or in this lights bar at the back of this Kia EV6. They're actually down here, which is also a nice feature of the Kia EV6. Really, really interesting. Like really nice design approach from Kia. So let's go up and open the boot. And one more thing before going up in the boot, this rear spoiler is actually nice. Like if I was to give uh, the designers an applaud for the Kia EV6, I'll give them like a 9.5 out of 10 for the design of the Kia EV6. It's a dope and futuristic design of the Kia EV6 with this like nice spoiler here, which actually overlaps to the side of the car which is actually nice. So there are actually two ways of opening the boot of the Kia EV6. Either you use key fob of the Kia EV6 or pressing the button under here. So we're going to use the key fob and open the boot of the Kia EV6. Power opening, of course. Yeah, so there's actually a lot of space in the back of this Kia EV6 and you have a load 
floor here, which is actually nice. Very easy for loading things in and out of the Kia EV6. And also you have flaps here. If you want to carry more longer items, you can just pull this flap and the back seats of the Kia EV6 actually lowers to give you a continuous loading area, which is actually nice. There's more storage space under here for your charging and also there's actually interesting feature of this Kia EV6. So keep watching the video. I'm going to show you that. And so far, so good. Really nice backspace. Everything well thought out. Squared shape. Nice opening. Power closing, of course, which is actually nice. There are a lot of nice hidden features in the back of this Kia EV6. For example, the charge port of the Kia EV6 has been integrated into this part of the Kia EV6. It's very hard to know where the charge port is and it's actually very easy to open. It's actually a power operated charge port. You press here and it opens up automatically. There's also a button in there to close the charge port. So let's open up the charge port and see. So now this is the charge port of this Kia EV6. So this Kia EV6 is built on an 800 volt charge architecture. So in theory, it means that this Kia EV6 can actually charge from 10 to 80% in 15 minutes. That's in theory. If you can find an 800 volt charging facility, you can actually charge this Kia EV6 from 10 to 80% in 15 minutes. That is, that's this 800 volt architecture. For the few days I've had the Kia EV6, I've actually looked for an 800 volt architecture and I haven't found one. But the fastest you can charge this EV6 is from 10 to 80% in 25 minutes, which is actually also good. And this Kia EV6 has also been built with a nice feature. It's actually the most, one of the most dope feature in the Kia EV6. Some people might actually say it's an overkill, but I think it makes sense in the Kia EV6. So I'm going to show you what that feature does. So open up the boots in the Kia EV6, of course, like we just saw inside the boots. You have your charge pots in the Kia EV6. Actually, this nice bag. These are all your, your charging facility of the Kia EV6. And of course, like every normal electric car, is the same socket to use to charge your Kia EV6. Now, it goes further than that. There's actually this feature here. This is actually what Kia calls a car-to-car -car charging facility. So what does this do? It's actually very, very interesting. A simple explanation to this feature is, if you've been using the latest Samsung, you'd know that a Samsung can reverse wirelessly charge another phone. This is the idea of this socket here. You can use this to charge another EV, or you can use the sockets to plug in another charging facility to this EV. So, as I'm going to demonstrate here, you plug this in here and you put it on. Now you have where to charge other facilities. For example, I have my laptop here. I can actually charge my laptop with this Kia EV6. Apart from like charging other electric cars, which I don't think anyone would do, but you can actually charge or use an external device on this Kia EV and it charges. I spoke to Kia about this future and uh, in Europe here, for example, where people love camping in the summer, if you go camping with your Kia EV6 and maybe you want to plug in some external devices or some external electrical appliances to your Kia EV6, maybe a microwave, maybe a, you know, something, a vacuum cleaner or your laptop, you can just use the reverse charging of the Kia EV6 and plug in your charger. So it's not an overkill at all. It's not a gimmick. It's actually useful. And this is one of the features I actually love about the Kia EV6. If you love this feature, actually comment it in the comment box below. So yeah, that being said, you can actually close this automatically. Push it lightly. Voila, it closes. Nice. Moving over to the side of this Kia EV6, I actually also love the design line along the side of this Kia EV6. So this Kia EV6 is actually bigger than a, a conventional hatchback, but it's not big as an SUV. This is actually an electric crossover. So it's in between a hatchback and an SUV. That's why it's actually big and has long wheelbase. As you can see, the tires are wide apart because it's an electric car. There's no need for an engine. We have tires which are wide apart to give more sitting space and more legroom in the middle of this car and for the batteries to be under this car. Most notable thing about this bag, like I said, 
this light bar which also comes down over here to to the side bumper of this car and then actually like the roof spoiler here and the design line is actually smooth nothing really crazy uh, you can see that this design line actually goes down over to this place you actually have huge 20 inch wheels this is actually huge and the wheels are actually nice uh, i like the blade wheels of this of this uh, kia ev6 they're actually nice and you have flush door handles just like a tesla although they work differently than a tesla so when you unlock the kia ev6 they actually pop out a bit you can just open the kia ev6 get in same situation here in front they open and you get in power folding mirrors so when they're locked the mirrors fold in and the door handles go flush back into the side of this car which is actually nice so let's move over, over to the front of this kia ev6 we're going to be checking the front the boot space in front of course an electric car there's no engine in front we're going to be seeing how usable the boot space in front is and you're actually going to be disappointed even with the size of this car but let's go and see that right now in front of the kia ev6 uh, it's actually a very very nice design not as nice as the back but actually like this led light you actually have your daytime running light which has been integrated into this uh light here and you have you actually have this huge clamshell bonnet so this bonnet actually opens from here over the wheels and it goes all the way back which is actually nice i actually like the way the hood bulges up and comes all the way down you actually have your radar uh keeping your radars and driving assistant up in the front of this car so this car actually has um some kind of autonomous driving which it can keep you in your lane it can center you in your lane and it can drive a uh, distance from the car in front of you in stop and go traffic you actually have your uh, camera here there's one in the back of course one also here in the front uh, there is no front grille because this car doesn't have an engine you just have some little air vents here which are used to cool the batteries when they get hot of course and of course th this car no th the design of this car is actually very very beautiful i like what kia has done overall in the design of this car the front a different design the middle and the back just a different design which has been pieced together to bring to bring out a very beautiful and sophisticated design of the kia ev6 so let's check out the front of this kia ev6 and you would see what i'm saying about so you open it like a conventional car pop the hood of course you have some mechanical devices here and this is all you get 15 liters of space it's actually rubbish not as big as a tesla nothing close to a tesla although this is a, a, a different approach to an ev from kia which i really love but a more usable space would have been appreciated in the front of this kia ev6 but then this is all you get that being said let's take this ev6 on a drive i would like to take you how I have lived one week with this Kia EV6, how it drives, what it feels like to live with a Kia EV6 for one week. Keep watching this video. Let's check out how it feels to drive this Kia EV6. Okay, so in my last video, I talked about Tesla being the biggest players in the electric car world today. Of course, they are. Nonetheless, there are other car brands that are gone in towards that position of Tesla and this is kia's approach to the electric vehicle i have been testing the kia ev6 for over a week and a half now and i'm going to be sharing my thoughts about the kia ev6 how it drives and what it's like to live daily with it first of all shout out to kia motors for this ev6 uh they've actually been of great help with the kia ev6 yeah uh subscribe to this video and also like it also helps me to get more cars more incredible cars like this so the 2022 Kia EV6. Of course, this is an all electric vehicle from Kia. It comes with a lot of features. You have blind spots monitoring, heads up display, which is actually very, very useful in driving this car. It has actually been very easy to drive this car because the heads up display also have traffic sign recognition and also have blind spot monitoring. So if I want to change lane, there's a camera here also, which also shows me my blind spot if I'm not using the side mirrors, which is actually good. I think all cars should adapt to this feature where you can just check your blind spots from the camera which comes on when you turn on your trafficator which is very nice all right so right off the top the kia ev6 is actually a nice daily driver it's a car that i actually enjoy using every day it's driving features it has it's actually a good electric car because it actually has a lot of range so this 
this GT line actually has about 340 miles of electric range but in the real world you would be getting about 280 to 250 and depending on your driving style but this EV here um, how it has been designed is uh, it has been designed to be more like a normal car so if you're coming from the world of internal combustion engines to integrate to this EV is going to be very easy it's not like the Tesla where you have just one screen to control everything. At least there are some physical buttons to control the, the controls. While using this car, this panel here actually is good because you have physical buttons for your climate control. But the downside to this is this actually doubles as a climate control and also used to control your radio. So you have to toggle the switch to go into your radio or you have to toggle it back to go out back to your climate control. Which, which is a faff when you're using because uh, assuming I'm getting to a stoplight or assuming I'm getting to where I'm going to park and I want to turn down the volume of the radio I have to toggle in between the switch which is not the best design but I'll give it to Kia I mean car manufacturers these days are priding themselves with how much buttons they're eliminating from their interior and Kia has actually done a good job in finding a balance between the screen and the buttons because the screen is actually easy to use it's dead easy to use like right at your fingertips as you can see I can just get to every menu easily without taking my eyes far off the road just a little bit i've been daily driving this car of course stop and go traffic i have used it on the highway it's an efficient ev like i said you'll be getting about 280 miles of range with this ev so this ev actually has about 340 horsepower 600 newton meters of torque which can propel this ev from 0 to 60 in like 4.6 seconds which is admirable for a car of this size and a car of this weight because of course EVs are heavy because of their battery but it's an efficient EV and I have enjoyed every bit using this EV daily charging charging hasn't been much of an issue because charging stations are coming up although like I said uh, this this EV is built on an 800 volt charge architecture in practice I haven't seen any 800 volts but if you can find an 800 volt charging facility you can charge this EV from zero to 80% in like 20 minutes which is good but yeah until you find that so driving the EV and it's, it's the, the button is actually very very intuitive to use it actually has nice pulling power you can pull up to traffic as fast as possible EV is actually designed to be driven on one pedal mode of course so uh, when you drive on one pedal mode the flaps here at the bottom are at this, in the steering they are not used for changing gears these are actually used for these buttons here actually used for controlling the aggressiveness of the regenerative braking right now i have it in maximum so i'm driving this car on one pedal mode so in stop and go traffic like this for example i don't need to step on the brakes on the friction brakes to to slow the car down or to bring it to a stop i just take my my foot off the pedal of the gas and it stops on its own this is good because when you drive an ev and you use this regenerative braking which can actually bring the car to a complete stop just like this as you can see now the traffic is going now what this does is it uses the the electric motor to send back powers into the battery so it like charges in reverse so the electric motors are the one that are used to slow down this ev which is actually good i mean teslas were the pioneers of this technology and most evs now are adapting it and this is a very good iteration of that technology so the screen here it's actually showing me that there's a car in my blind spot which is actually good for daily driving so sitting in traffic this ev is actually really quiet and of course evs are generally known for uh, how quiet they are without an engine but of course you get to hear other things like the road noise because the tires of this ev are actually huge 20 inch wheels so you get to hear much road noise but of course you can use the sound system and drama it's not it's not noisy but it's not a completely well refined interior of course the interior of the ev is is refined but it still has a level of noise insulation which is livable actually and so far uh driving this ev we have been consuming 23.2 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometer which is actually good it's, it's actually very efficient for an EV at this price point and an EV of this height and of this weight. So the driver's display in this Kia EV6 is actually good. It's actually actually a usable one. It's not very, very configurable like that of Audis or, or, or BMWs, but it's actually useful. On the left side of the gauge cluster, it shows your speed. And on the right side, it shows how many distance left. So I have about 369 kilometers of driving range 
available for me which is actually admirable this Kia EV6 has a 77 kilowatt hour uh, battery capacity which is good for this range it drives well but it's not the most sporty driving electric vehicle it's good for it's good for your daily driving it's good for highway driving of course there are other uh, evs that i would like to check out especially the tesla model x the tesla model y the audi e-tron we have all those other evs which are in the market but this is a good balance because at this price point of about um forty-eight thousand dollars you have three driving modes actually in this ev there's eco mode which shows up here you can use this toggle here on the steering wheel to to uh to move from eco mode right now i have it in eco mode when we get out on the freeway i'm going to be testing it on sports mode so eco mode of course you don't have immediate acceleration you don't have that immediate talk of an electric vehicle it kind of surges it, it builds it surges gradually the steering feels very very precise it feels really accurate but i would say it's numb it's a it's a numb steering wheel of course a few talking points on on this uh on the driving dynamic of this car it's heavy and it's tall so when you go around bend it leans it leans uh fair a fair, a fair amount but it's not that much to upset you and it drives comfortably but one thing about uh evs that see, the batteries are under and the batteries are heavy so the suspensions of ev sometimes are a bit bouncy although it has been fine-tuned to give you that comfort and that wafty feeling like you're driving on a cloud it sometimes bounces when you go over a speed bump just like how i'll illustrate now i'm approaching a speed bump and yeah that that bouncy feeling is felt actually but it's not that insane it's not that crazy you can live with this every day actually now when i change to eco mode it uh, reduces the way i consume the battery so the range actually increases to 374 kilometers of driving range which is fair enough which is actually good but of course uh, the driving style and the driving range of an ev still depends on how how much you drive it how how aggressive you push it which we're going to do as we get on the freeway so i'm going to shift into sports mode coming up very soon i'm going to shift into sports mode and see how immediate the electric um, power of this ev comes on so right now if i'm to be using this ev every day i'll just mostly put it in eco mode because it still surges ahead but then when you switch it to normal the, the torque comes on which is good also but then when you put it in sport mode that is where it sharpens the throttle response it sharpens the steering the input it makes everything uh, sharp it responds really really sharp the input and by the way if you're enjoying this review you're enjoying the kia ev6 a sub to this channel would actually be electrifying like this video the more you like this video the more you watch i get to get i get more interesting cars like this so the steering now is now sharp and and really it, it, it's it's really more agile now around the bends and another tech feature i i which is worth mentioning about the kia ev6 it also has holographic display on the heads of display so when you're about to take a turn it actually points in that direction on the holographic display on the road which is actually nice it's something you get like in a mercedes s-class which is here in a kia ev6 all right so in sport mode floor it and power comes on immediately which is really fast for this ev as you can see i'm going way over the speed limit now and but you it's not an everyday future so we have markings on the road and of course the ev has to recognize the marks before it tries to center you allow around the lanes of the ev6 which is actually also good my hands are off the steering wheel it's it's centering me around the lanes now it's it's, it's trying to adjust you can see the steering moving on so now it's telling me to keep my hands on the steering wheel because of course it, for it has to work now it's telling me place my hands on the steering wheel. it's freaking out now because my hands are not on the steering wheel but of course this is what this feature does it actually puts you in the in the middle of of the of the road and the brakes are actually very sharp the brake responds really sharp so of course when you when you're driving this ev really fast you won't rely on the regenerative braking you have to use the physical brakes to slow it down because it's actually moving very fast 
so you try to use that brakes to, to slow the car down yeah the, the driving position in the kia ev6 is actually superb nice supportive armrest here by in the on the doors also you can, I can just rest my hands on the doors uh, very easily and it centers me well in the steering wheel i actually have good view up front soft suspension it's comfortable it's quick admirably quick uh, it has a lot of tech features going on for it which is which is good everything right at your fingertips the screen actually is very good with nice graphics it, it shows how many battery percent left right now i have 95 uh, battery percent left in this ev which is actually good it can actually show me how far i have when i turn off the climate controls or when i have them on so it actually can calculate how much electricity i'm consuming in the car all right so getting to the end of this video and um what is my general conclusion from the kia ev6 it's a really really dope car it has a lot of it has a lot of dope technology in it the tech in this car is actually very good a, and at this price point it's actually a good buy for an electric car if you can live with uh charging the electric car and if you are considering an electric car and don't want to create a large hole in your pocket and don't want to go for something like a tesla then the kia ev6 is a good buy until then thanks for watching catch you in the next one peace